colleagues. Let's keep on our working day. And now we give the floor to the representatives of the lawyers advisory group, and we will discuss how key city council blocks trial on, on shooting of heavenly hunger. Good afternoon. As everybody knows, the Toshan district trial of Kyiv city is proceeding the case of Pavlon Broskin and Sergei Zinchenk. On, on the shooting on the Institute Street, uh, the, uh, the killing of more than 39 people. This case is in trial uh, is from February 2015. For the time being, it's more than six months already. And the peculiarities of this case is <coughs> the most scandal is the most scandalous case that is proceeding by the court by the court of by the trial court. It's it's a new procedure in Ukraine. We can't we can't sell that it's complete because it's just some replacement of the of the people's uh, of the people's court, but it exists and we use and we use it in this proceeding as well. But in this case there is a huge problem with the composition of the court and this problem can lead to the cancel of of any decision regarding the persons who are involved according to our point to the to the massacre on Institutska Street. This problem is connected to the fact that Kyiv City Council broke the procedure established by law and the breach of this procedure makes the composition of the court illegal. What do I mean? In fact, the list, the list of the people of the courts, main and additional, is confirmed by the decision of Kyiv City Council of 16th of April 2015, number 404. But this decision, this decision wa was taken with the bridge of the law. First of all, they were selected voluntarily and it's prohibited by law directly and they were in this list at the moment they were selected. And at the, mom and at the moment it it, this decision was taken by law. The second, the announcement about the selection of these people and, and uh, was not illegal because it led to the illegitimate selection of these jurors. This decision itself discredits the idea itself of the trial of jurors. And we, as the lawyers representative of the, of the, of the people killed, and we went with and we went to the court because of that, but the, but the lawyer Evgenia Zakrevska will tell us about that. The situation, as uh, Mr. Nikolaj already uh, described, the situation could be very difficult, but in fact, it is very simple. What is the jury? Uh, this is uh, involvement of uh, broad public into the justice. And in this case, of course, we are speaking about non-professional uh, non -professional judges and the people uh, should not be involved in law enforcement or any other agencies of the law enforcement sector. What do we have at present? We face the situation when Instead of uh, what to describe it, instead of announcing an involvement or attracting of people that should, that would like to be uh, jurors, uh, lay people, then instead of that, the Kiev City Council 
took the least of uh, people's uh, people's representatives and those are people that are close to law enforcement um, agencies or probably they knew from their wives on this event they are working directly in judiciary agencies or law enforcement institutions and the means that they should not represent the ordinary citizens, non-professional jurors or non-professional um, people involved in uh, litig litigations or pros court proceedings. So this is a formal violation of the procedure and what is the grounds for this claim? First, the list was approved before the state judicial administration asked to approve for that amount of jurors. Secondly, lack of any announcement in the mass media that the process is going on. And uh, if anybody of you watching this press conference would like to be a juror, he actually is deprived of acting so because on April 15 the jury was approved but no information appeared anywhere and Kiev City Council does not conceal it even because they didn't have any uh, confirm of that and I confirm on the fact that they announced on this appointment of jurors. This was the reason for us to submit a claim to the Kiev Administrative Court and at present there are certain procedures going on. The next uh, court meeting is appointed at 16th October, 3.40 p.m. The situation is paradoxical because not only the, the, the victims understand that this court is non-legitimate, but the defense as well is in defense uh, as well agree with us. Uh, the decision in this litigation in one hand would remove any questions to the next court proceedings on 39 victims or 39s uh, killed of 14 February 19, uh, 2014. On the other hand, for me it, and for everybody, it must be a case to start with approval. Ordinary people as jurors means that this procedure must be a working one. So thank you and uh, give floor to my colleagues. Uh, my colleagues already described the problem, so I would like to summarize a little bit and to tell you why and what is the goal of our appearance here before mass media and why we are doing so. First of all, this is not very complicated judicial mechanism of making up, or say, a uh, formation of the jury or the court. Uh, in the court we may see both professional judges and uh, jurors and we are speaking about uh, certain cases when the uh, sentence is life sentence actually and uh, if the court 
is not constructed proper way means the uh, court is not legitimate and according to the criminal procedural law it is the ground to cancel a sentence or court decision in that case any decision of a court should be avoided nil means all the time all the work of the um, defense should go in vain and the result will be zero we are trying to prevent it at the time of uh, I know of selection of this collegium and we were working with both uh, lawyers that represented or advocates that represented uh, victims and the lawyers that represented uh, convicted people so we tried to understand how to solve this by means of negotiations and of course the obvious fact of violation of Ukrainian law should be instrumental for Kiev City Council to understand the need to put into law and order means harmonize their own decisions in a way that they should make up the list of jurors properly. I mean that here we are speaking about a litigation that is uh, of a great interest for the entire Ukrainian society and of course this will be not only uh, a case of internal uh, affair, it's uh, as well external influence of Ukrainian image and of course we have a chance to be ashamed once again as for the people that make decision in this case they could make this decision very easy but the case is stagnated and in our negotiations we had the answer from them that let the court decide everything i should remind you that administrative case is now going through the first court instance if at any stage of administrative uh, proceeding the decision will be cancelled then in this case the law proceedings in this case of murder of 39 people on in February in Institutska Street the court should start this case over again with a new representation in the court that's why we would like to attract attention of mass media to this fact all the uh, citizens that are interested and would like to penetrate into the mind of the Kiev city administration and to our mayor in order to do everything properly so we propose that the following procedure first to receive a claim from the court administration the claim that should be in line with the proper uh, format and to put all the necessary notifications and announcement as for election of jurors for everybody every citizen that has this opportunity according to the law on jurors to submit their application to consider the applications to approve the list and to submit it to the court administration according to the proper judicial procedure and this algorithm is very easy and we do not understand why should we uh, solve this problem by means of court uh, proceedings. Um, 
short question from Ukrainian crisis uh, media center. Do you see any connections of this uh, unlawful behavior of Kiev city council? In my mind, nobody has any gain from this, any good from this, and this is just a neglectance of Kiev city council of their duties. They even do not understand to what extent to what consequences this uh, neglectance and irresponsibility could uh, uh, could could lead us. Uh, I have a theory of oligophrenic nature of the people that are sitting and executing their power responsibilities um, and uh, of course it covers our advocates as well and probably it is just a, a very very weak uh, brain activity, but in this case, this weak brain activity of prosecutor's office and the uh, higher uh, officials of prosecutor's office, judges, uh, investigators, uh, Kiev city administration, top managers or top officials, uh, results in this case in uh, bad consequences for the investigation and in that case all that small pieces in this puzzle give us a very negative picture and we are approaching the epic failure in not only understanding who was involved in this large-scale uh, crime but as well, we do not understand who are the judges. As for the Kiev city administration, you know Mr. Reznikov having a legal uh, education, law education, he studied law, he has uh, this type of uh, experience and this person should understand the consequences of such actions or such events and one of the goals that we're standing before you is to transfer our dialogue with the Kiev city administration to understand to have an answer that we would be able to understand why it is not possible to do the, everything properly it's nothing like a, say a very difficult task Thank you, Vitaly. Thank you, everybody. Are there any questions or comments, colleagues? If no comments and questions, thank you very much. No press briefing is over. Thank you. Our next press conference is uh, scheduled at 10.30. Thank you.